The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, ascended to heaven. The place where the Prophet Muhammad ascended to heaven from the roof of the Al-Aqsa Mosque. By the way, Jesus was a Palestinian. I wish I could make you happy and say that I thought that you had a brighter future, but I would be lying to you during Ramadan, which would be a very wrong thing to do. Somebody asked me on Hard Talk the other day, you proud to be British? It's an accident that I was born in Britain. I don't have any enemies in Afghanistan. I didn't declare war on anybody in Afghanistan. The Taliban are no, not an enemy. No, uh, no, they're not an enemy to okay. me. This hooligan will have to be thrown out of this studio. <laughs> I have never been in favor of liberalism and free speech. I'm not in favor of free speech, unlimited, untrammeled free speech. I deny you the right to freely speak. I don't believe people have the right to slander other people's religions in so-called cartoons. I don't believe in that kind of freedom of speech, you see. As I've said many times before, never confuse me with a liberal, because I am not a liberal. All the papers seem to imply that you get executed in Iran well, his, for his, being gay. His, That's his, his not boyfriend true. was hung, though, yes, wasn't he? Yes, not for being gay, for um, committing sex uh, crimes. I'm one of the few men, certainly in this audience, to have seen Fidel Castro naked. Mr. Galloway, you have a record as long as my arm of justifying autocracy across the world, and you admire Castro because of the way he rules. George Galloway is never far from controversy. This week he's been in Havana meeting the Cuban leader Fidel Castro. Meanwhile, back in the UK, remarks to next month's GQ magazine have triggered another political row. In the interview, Mr Galloway is asked by the former Mirror editor Piers Morgan, would the assassination of, say, Tony Blair by a suicide bomber, if there were no other casualties, be justified as revenge for the war in Iraq? To which George Galloway replied, yes, it would be morally justified. He goes on, it would be entirely logical and explicable. And he actually talks about the morality of that. Anyone who knows anything about suicide bombers recognises this is nihilism, not morality. George apparently fails to grasp the distinction. It's time to go for Tony Blair from Downing Street. Now, today, this weekend. Wassalamu alaikum. Right, which is, I mean, I'm against execution for any reason, yeah, yeah. in any place. Um, so we didn't actually have a right to hang him, but we hung him anyway. I don't actually mind that. I probably would have hung him with my own hands. I mean, I'm against execution for any yeah, reason, yeah. in any place. Your Excellency. Very nice to see you again. Thank you. You seem in very, very good health. I lost weight. I'm very happy about it. What kind of travel was it? Oh, you know, you know, you know, yes, I see that you lost some weight, I so I think it's your better. It's my better. Yes, I have noticed that. Uday was renowned for his brutality and is believed to have personally tortured thousands of people. I would like you to know that we are, we are with you till the end. Describe your relationship with Tariq Aziz. Friendly. How often did you uh, meet him? Many times. Do you have, can you give an estimate of that? No, many times. Uh, is it uh, uh, more, many more, times more than five? Yes, yes. More than ten? Yes. Is it like 15, around 15? Well, we're getting nearer, but I, I haven't ever counted it. But many times. I'm, and you have saying, I'm saying to you many times. And, and I'm saying to you I was friendly with him. Okay. And you described him as a very dear friend. Uh, I think you've quoted me as saying a dear, dear friend. I don't often use the double uh, adjective. Uh, do, do you regret this this video that surfaced in 2006 of you with Uday Hussein? Do you regret that meeting with him? No, uh, I don't. To greet Saddam Hussein in 1994 in Iraq and to salute him for his courage That's another and lie. his insufficiency. You're lying again. His, uh, your nose is growing. Went. Sir, I salute your courage, your strength, your indefatigability. I can honestly tell you I was coming to Iraq and hoping to meet with yourself. Saddam Hussein will live in history long after these dogs. Like your friend off. Fidel Castro, He's not a dictator. He's Fidel not a dictator. Castro. Don't compare Fidel Castro. Why isn't Castro. he a dictator? Don't com compare Fidel Castro to the... He runs what I'm Human Rights about. Watch calls an undemocratic government that represses no. nearly all forms of political I'll, dissent. I'll debate Cuba with you any time you like, but I doubt if I've got enough time to do so now, but I'll make this point. I'm flying, oh, you think he's a Democrat, I'm flying this evening 
to Caracas, Venezuela. What's that got to do with this? Everything. To speak at a rally at the weekend with the great Hugo Chavez. Hugo Chavez and Fidel Castro are the real leaders of the Arab people. Victory to the Antifada. Long live the resistance. Now, I don't want to ascribe some of these quotes to you if they're not yours, but I just went, I came across some quotes that I found strange at best here. Tell me if this is from you right here. I did support the Soviet Union. I think the disappearance of the Soviet Union is the biggest catastrophe of my life. Is that yes, true? I did say that. That is my view. I told you, I, I told you I'm not here to support his democracy. I, I, I spit upon his democracy. You don't ask about the questions. The, I'm asking the questions. But you don't ask You are mind. doing the answering. I support the armed struggle of the Palestinian people, but Palestine will not be liberated by arms alone. There's no point in just another explosion, just another uh, piece of military heroism. We need mass politics in Palestine. The American army is losing the will to... Were the Al-Qaeda bombings in London justified? Well, I'm almost insulted that you can ask such a question. We say to these young angry Muslims, we know you're angry. You are right to be angry. We need the Klashenkov. فنحن بحاجة إلى الكلاشينكوف ونحتاج إلى المواجهة المسلحة يستعملون الأسلحة البدائية يكتبون أسماء مدنهم وقراهم على النجوم Covered in shame. And well, Mr. Galloway uh, trades a better set of manners when he's in Los Angeles from the one that he exhibits when he's in, say, uh, Syria on state television, when he praises the martyrs and the jihadists and the 150 or so operations they conduct every day in Iraq. He goes there to stir it up and then he comes here to tell us, watch out, they're being nasty. The man's search for a tyrannical fatherland never ends. The Soviet Union's let him down. Albania's gone. The Red Army's out of Afghanistan and Czechoslovakia. The hunt persists. Saddam has been overthrown and his criminal connections with him have been exposed. But on to the next, on the 30th of July, in Damascus in Syria, appearing, I've given it all to you in a piece of paper, in front of Mr. Assad, whose death squads are cutting down the leaders of democracy in Lebanon, as this is going on, to tell the Syrian people they're fortunate to have such a leader. It is a criminal offense in Britain, potentially, to glorify uh, Hassan Nasrallah, so let me glorify him. I think that Hassan Nasrallah is the best leader in the Muslim world. Al Mawtul Israel! He says what he means and he means what he says. He doesn't make boastful promises that he can't carry out. Al Mawtul America! Hassan Nasrallah is a very great man indeed. Hezbollah is not now, nor has it ever been, a terrorist organization. Nasrallah, the leader of Hezbollah, has explicitly declared that he wants to kill Jews. Now, people who say this is what we support, this is what we're in favor of, I think are lending themselves to a kind of racist discrimination that they really ought to be ashamed of. Alhamdulillah, may God protect Said Nasrallah, the leader of the Lebanese resistance. It was very sad to see Hezbollah using its guns against uh, against fellow Lebanese. That upset me. I, I, I began, I began to well, wonder. Well, uh, but uh, the provocation was a uh, deliberate one. It was Jimmy Carter that started the war in Afghanistan. The Afghans had the right to fight against the Soviet invasion of their country, which Mr. Galloway supported. That's the first thing. The second thing is the CIA did not invent Mr. Bin Laden. Can we talk about Bin Laden, Bin Laden instead, instead of, of me? I love it when the British fight. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, 
There's nothing British There's about There's only one better fight, and that's a chick fight. I think British we about, all know that. Nothing British about Mr. Galloway, who's a fifth column run from the Middle East uh, in British politics. Anyone who says that we're to blame for it is carrying no, no, no water for the people that, who committed it.